So hey there beautiful people. Last week we went over my top 10 inflammatory foods that cause disease and weight gain and I gotta be honest some of those foods I really love but they don't love me back. But today here's the good news. That list was a little bit heavy I have to admit and it was not very uplifting but I have good news for you because we are going to go over my top anti-inflammatory foods today and that means less disease, more weight loss, just feeling better and having more energy. These are foods that I probably eat two, three or more of these foods a day and they have done amazing things for my health and I am hoping that you are going to enjoy the benefits of these anti-inflammatory foods as well. So stay with me, it is coming right up. So hey there, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. So guys, I cancel people all over the United States. You get the same amount of care as if you were sitting right in front of me in my office. I counsel you through video conferencing and I just love, love, love working with people. Right now I'm working with someone in California and Oklahoma and Minnesota and Maine and it's crazy and I love it. And so if you want more information about my practice, go ahead and email me with that email address and I will shoot you over that information. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe if you haven't already. Join our YouTube family and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and, and Facebook. So I have my top anti-inflammatory foods. And remember what inflammation does to you guys. And, and the reason that it's so important because inflammation really is the foundation of most diseases. And so many of us, I would say a good 80% of us are are literally walking around with this chronic low-grade inflammation that is causing us not to be our optimally healthy best. And so these are the foods, these are like the, the these are not the only foods. I mean, I could, I could just go on and on with this video, so I just stuck to my top 10, the ones that I like the best, my top 10, but there are more, and usually they're coming out of the, you know, our plant family. So, these are my top 10 anti-inflammatory foods and number one, and I'm sure you're not surprised, but that is leafy green vegetables. And that means like spinach and kale and collards and dandelion greens. And it really, it's all about the antioxidants, guys. They neutralize free radicals, which help to protect your cells from cellular damage. So important on a cellular level. They have flavonoids, which are actually po really powerful uh, polyphenols that, that are protective compounds, lots of vitamins, minerals, um, and, and really um, the most important minerals, which are magnesium and iron and potassium, which we don't get enough of. I'm going to link a link below about potassium. And they are really high in a very special flavonoid called quercetin. I am over the moon about quercetin. I have a lot of my patients on quercetin, but this is a this is a very active um, antioxidant that ca causes anti-inflammatory things to happen in your body. I'm going to link a link below if you want to get into quercetin more. And they are especially, especially leafy greens are helpful with cognitive decline as well as gut health. Number two are avocados. And yes, they have, we, we tout the fact that they have that healthy fat, that healthy monounsaturated fat, but they are like little fat bombs. They also have saturated fat, the terrible dreaded saturated fat, which actually we have found is not that bad for us like we once thought because fats of all kinds, monounsaturated as well as saturated, help us to absorb our vitamins and minerals better, especially certain vitamins. They have twice the potassium as a banana. We always think potassium and bananas and we need to rethink that because avocados are so much richer in potassium. I'm gonna link a link below on, on avocados and potassium. And they're especially helpful in fighting neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. So I always say, 
An avocado a day keeps the doctor away. And then number three is really more like a spice. Um, it is turmeric or the active form of turmeric, which is curcumin. And it is a power, it has powerful, powerful antioxidants in it that help to prevent heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, and it improves, um, and I use it extensively in my practice, improves the symptoms of arthritis and depression. I'll link a link below if you want to get more into turmeric or curcumin and just the amazing benefits of it. It's just so amazing. My favorite. It's my favorite, favorite spice. Then there are blueberries and really other, uh, any other berries because of their dark purple red coloring. And that is coming from the polyphenol antioxidants as well. And then they also have the quercetin, like I said, and, which is a flavonoid antioxidant. And they has, have something called resveratrol, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory. And then we have broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables, but I just love my broccoli. I try to eat broccoli at least every other day. And it is like an antioxidant jackpot. There's so many antioxidants. It not only has quercetin, but it has vitamin K and C and potassium, magnesium. And it also has this really important compound called sulforaphane. And that protects us against cancer and also it, it detoxifies our body against harmful chemicals. So important, important anti-inflammatories there. Number six are cherries. Love me some cherries. I just bought some from Whole Foods Organic Cherries and my little girl ate most of them, but I felt really good about her eating them. Again, it's, the, it's those polyphenols that make that red purple color that are so high in antioxidants and vitamin C and anthocyanins, which um, are also contributing to that red color. They, they just have all of these amazing, amazing flavonoids in them that help to reduce inflammation and therefore help to reduce your risk of all major diseases. The number seven is salmon and other fatty fish. You probably knew I was going to throw that one in there and that is because of probably my second favorite uh, nutrient and that is omega-3 fatty acids. Love me some omega-3 fatty acids guys. I can't get enough of them. I take them in supplement form. I, I eat a lot of omega-3 rich foods. I'll link a link below on the benefits of those for you, but they're especially helpful. I have an autoimmune and they're especially helpful for autoimmune disease as well as brain health and a decrease in depression. Studies show that the more omega-3s that you eat, the less anti-inflammatory prescription medications you're going to need. Number eight, are walnuts and really any other nuts, especially almonds. Again, these are the healthy fats, guys, and the fiber. Studies have shown have associated nuts with the reduced inflammation blood markers like CRP. I have almost every single one of my patients coming in to my office with a CRP blood test because that's such an important inflammatory marker, so it decreases your risk of heart disease and diabetes. Number nine is celery, but always organic. Celery is one of those dirty, dirty vegetables in that it has a whole lot of residue on it when it's not organic, but it's high in silica. It's high in sodium and potassium, and it's in they're in balance with one another. And what that does, guys, it helps that whole system to work better, the sodium potassium pump, and it actually it actually aids with us flushing out toxins in our body. We eat way too many processed foods that have just the sodium, just the sodium, but we forgot the potassium. They need to work together. They work in synergy together and celery is a beautiful marriage of those two. And then number 10 is coconut oil. Listen, this is a saturated, an evil, saturated fat, right? But it's one of those really good saturated fats that helps with inflammation and decreasing it because it has something called a medium chain triglyceride in it. It's very easy to digest. 
it it is um, it has coconut oil has antiviral antibacterial properties in it it boosts your metabolism it balances your hormones but always buy it organic extra virgin in that form so that is my list those are my 10 top anti-inflammatory foods i know that there are more but if you eat a couple of those every day you are going to be golden and you're going to take your risk factors way down you're gonna you're gonna bring your mood up your weight down they are amazing so my my challenge to, do, to you is to get more of them in your diet so thank you so much for being here today and remember to like this video if you do, subscribe, and also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And just remember that everyone, you included, you, 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 deserve the freedom to live their best life. And you can do that with these, these wonderful anti-inflammatory foods. Thank you.